President Trump has transformed his personal tweets into strategic political weapons which launch his messages off to the public right past the hostile news media, and often over their heads. It's a skill and an art, really. The canny Mr. Trump arms his tweets with content sure to get a rise from the indignant press. Now there is a study which confirms that cause and effect, stories that included his tweets stood out from those that did not. They were more likely to have a negative assessment of the administration's words and actions and to include a challenge by the journalist to something Trump or a member of his administration said, writer Elizabeth Gricko and Jeffrey Gottfried, senior analysts with the Pew Research Center who pulled through 3,000 news stories on Mr. Trump, produced by 24 media outlets. They found that one inch six of the stories included a Trump tweet, and 54% of those tweet-laden stories were negative in tone and content. In addition, one inch five of the tweet stories also contained a direct refutation by the reporter about Mr. Trump and his administration. Amid these differences between stories with and without the president's tweets, there was one notable similarity. A large majority of both those with a tweet and those without one structured their coverage around character and leadership rather than policy. However, those with a tweet were even more likely to focus on the president's leadership and character 85% than those that did not 72%, the analyst said. And speaking of fake news, let's take one more foray into the dynamic world of President Trump versus the news media, which typically involves high drama, citizen outrage and occasional comedic relief. Nearly half of voters, 46%, believe the news media fabricate news stories about President Trump and his administration. Just 37% of voters think the media do not fabricate stories, while the remaining 17% are undecided, writes Stephen Shepard, chief polling analyst for none other than Politico, which has a poll to share. The new Politico Morning Consult survey reveals that 76% of Republican voters agree that the press invents stories about Mr. Trump, 44% of independents and 20% of Democrats. That's one out of five, agree. Meanwhile, a mere 11% of the Republicans think the news media is innocent in the matter, compared to 31% of independents and 65% of the Democrats. Million K-A-B-I-L-L-I-O-N trillion mega millions, the lottery game available in 44 states and Washington, D.C., plans to offer larger jackpots and create more millionaires, officials say, explaining that starting jackpots will increase from $15 million to $40 million, and jackpots will grow faster overall. Ticket sales for the updated game begin October 28. There will be higher secondary prizes and better chances to win $1 million prizes. To support the new prize structure, the ticket price will change from $1 to $2 per play. Mega Millions players are motivated by large jackpots, which is what these changes are designed to deliver, says Pennsylvania Lottery Executive Director Drew Svitko. In the updated game, players will select five numbers from 1 to 70, and one mega ball number from 1 to 25. Players will have a 1 in 24 overall chance of winning any prize, and a 1 in 302,575,350 chance for the jumbo jackpot. The largest Mega Millions jackpot on record, incidentally, was $656 million in 2012. Points of Light Shinesty Points of Light Foundation, founded in 1990 by former President George H.W. Bush to encourage the volunteer spirit among Americans, hosts a Changing Lives Through Service tribute and awards gala Thursday in the nation's capital, staged at a splendid embassy. To be honored Arnold Schwarzenegger, for his state and global policy work at the University of Southern California Pittsburgh Steelers cornerback Cody Sensabar and his wife Dominique Jordan, founders of the Sensabar Mission Moon, a non-profit charity Jack Hanna and his wife, Susie Egley, both active in wildlife conservation and attorney, former U.S. Ambassador and Special Envoy C. Boyd and Gray. The event is hosted by Neil M. Bush, Francis Ambassador to the U.S. Graderad, and Mr. Gray. The master of ceremonies is CNN anchorman Wolf Blitzer. And on the menu chestnut soup with little shoe pastry, tomato confit and savory parmesan crackers, duck prosciutto surf and turf, actually branzino with beef tenderloin and bordelaise sauce, with fresh green beans provencal and pom chateau little potatoes slow roasted with butter and parsley. Ignoring the Russia bombshell new revelations that the FBI uncovered a Russian bribery plot before the Obama administration approved a nuclear deal with Moscow, that involved millions of kickback money to the Clinton Foundation, have been utterly ignored by ABC, CBS and NBC evening and morning shows since the story broke early Tuesday.
In fact, the network evening shows have only spent only three minutes and one second on the Clinton Foundation scandal in more than two years, writes Jeffrey Dickens, Deputy Research Center for the Conservative Media Research Center. He notes that John Solomon and Alison Spann, the correspondents for The Hill who broke the story Tuesday, did get a cordial welcome from Fox News anchor Sean Hannity. Poll du jour 56% of Americans say women have it easier than men in the U.S. 68% of Republicans, 45% of Democrats, 58% of men and 54% of women agree. 35% of Americans overall say men have it easier than women. 19% of Republicans, 49% of Democrats, 28% of men and 41% of women agree. 50% overall say the USHASNT gone far enough in giving women equal rights with men. 26% of Republicans, 69% of Democrats, 42% of men and 57% of women agree, 39% overall say the nation's efforts have been about right, 54% of Republicans, 26% of Democrats, 44% of men and 33% of women agree, 10% overall say the nation's efforts have gone too far, 18% of Republicans, 4% of Democrats, 13% of men and 8% of women agree. Source Pew Research Center American Trend polls of 4,573 U.S. adults conducted August 821 and September 14, 28 and released Wednesday, Cheers, Churlish Remarks to Jarpa at WashingtonTimes.com.